Hello Team Zog and today we'll be making a review on an item that I always want to do. That item is Jerome's Flatbed. Psych! Here is the item. My Thomas Wood Toby item. So let's get this guy on the box, shall we? Yeah, I already had him opened. So yeah, this is actually a really really good item. Now, I always want to do this for a long time now. The reason I've been keeping him, pushing him back, and putting him in his box still, was because, well, I was focusing on other videos. Here's a comparison to my Brio Toby that I'm going to use in my series. Now, you can see there are quite a few differences between the two. So, let's see what is good about it and what's bad about it. First up is the face. They nailed Toby's face in this range. I love Toby's Thomas Wood face. Another thing I like about the Thomas Wood Toby is the buffer details. Mattel nailed it on that. I would congratulate Mattel on doing this because they made a really good Toby model with this. Another thing I like about is the roof details, which is really, really good in my opinion. Something that is um, not seen in the Brio Toby. Although there are a lot of positives about this Toby model, there's also the negatives about it. First up is the wheels. Don't get me wrong, the uh, Wooden Rary and Brio Toby had the problem as well, but um, basically, but over here, they could really show that there could have been an extra wheel there. Another problem I have with this is the bell. The bell is not painted yellow. That's a bit of a shame. Wait a minute, they done it with this Toby here. So why not just put some there, like, even on, like, that little pin, like, there we go, good as new, nothing to worry about. Now, I know the buffer are the buffers are not painted black, but that's basically with all the Tom Ford items. Another problem I have with it is that no one else had was this area. Now, it's a little bit small in my opinion. I mean, they could have done what they done with the Brio and Wooden Rally Toby at the past, but no, they just didn't do it. Another problem I have with this is the cow catch details. On the real one, you can see there's some there, but on the wood Thomas Wood Toby, nope. And another problem I have with it is the roof area. I love the detail, but I feel it's a little bit squashed, just like in one mold. It's like a, it's just like a piece of wood, whilst the real wood railways Toby had a different design, which is. Much, 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 much better, in my opinion. Yeah, but although I love the Brio Toby, I just didn't, I don't know why they just used Mavis' faces, Mavis' face. Maybe they were going to make a, make a Brio Mavis, but it was cancelled, so they just reused Toby. Who knows? All in all... This is a really good item. I would recommend this one and picking it up in your local store while you can because Thomas Wood is coming to an end. So yeah, basically there's newer Wooden Railway versions and I can't wait to get those. This is Team Zug signing out. Peace out. And I can't wait to do the next part of Zug and the... Hey! What the? Let us out Team Zug. Please. We want to be in the video. Please. All right, fine. I uh, do apologize about this, guys. Um, I guess both Ryan and Scruffy just didn't want to suffer with this problem any further. But uh, yeah, so here they are. Here they are, boys and girls. This is the Ryan and Scruffy, or Dynamite and R and Scruffy. Let's start with Ryan. Ryan, in my opinion, is a decent item. 
they just reused Thomas's mold again. Basically, that will happen to the one and rarely one, so... Yeah. I love the face. The face looks much better than that, uh... Wood... The wood and ray, Ryan. Yeah, and I love the details. It's a shame we didn't get a regular Ryan, because they... There was so much Mattel could have done making a regular Ryan, but nope. Just make... Just one dynamite Ryan with a scruffy and boom, you got it done. Yep. But here's the best part about the pack. Scruffy. Did you know this is my first wooden rower item of Scruffy? Sorry. Yep. Scruffy is the main reason I want to get this pack. Simply because I really wanted some troublesome trucks. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to use this guy in my series. I'm going to use the wooden railway scruffy from learning curve well the old one and the brio scruffy because those look much better but i still care about them this is actually a really good item if i had a nitpick i would say that the this area right here is blue it's supposed to be gray but oh well well it's blue to me anyways sorry so yeah this is actually a really good item I really want to get Rickety and Fred as well, because Rickety and Fred and Scruffy are a trio. Well, at least in many people's canon. And yeah, that's my Dynamite, Ryan, Scruffy, and Toby. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Team Zerg signing out. Peace out. Let's go on a big, big adventure. Alright, yay. No!